going to wind up going to Germany ultimately in the next season. But yes. uh, in the summer, uh, before you're actually going to be making the call, you know, you, you have a, an experience with, uh, you know, with an Israeli club. Uh, and so mm-hmm. I'm going to let you get into that, what the uh, timeline was like there with uh, what happened in Israel, why it didn't work out mm-hmm. and how you <clears throat> wound up going to Germany and, and, and dealing basically with that. Uh, overseas adversity, which is again not uncommon, but it happens, and this is certainly something that you'd never faced before in your career. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, you know, in college, you don't really a lot of times, especially then, you don't transfer schools too much. You don't get traded, you know. So not being on a team for a complete season is something you never really um, think about until you are a professional. And one of my personal goals, always every single year, and like my goal, okay, for my career, I want this. One of my main goals is to, to always finish a season where I started, um, regardless. Um, that's just something I, I try to take pride in. And <clears throat> that season was tough for me. It got, okay, I was making a little more money. It's a big, big club, a big league. It's the first league now. Um, so I was excited going into there. And it was unfortunate. Um, and that was actually... Um, to give them some love before the negative. I, I tell my my current agent to this day, before I retire, I want to spend one more year in Israel. It's the, my favorite place I've been in my career in terms of having fun on the basketball court, having fun outside. The guys is very, um, they call it like a little small America over there. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so, you know, we're out there and, and we're playing well. I'm a hardworking guy and our point guard goes down after like three weeks of the preseason um, and they moved me to the point guard. I'm, I just come from averaging 18, like I'm scoring. I had a, a almost a 50 point game in, in Italy that season before, like I'm in a, a score mindset um, and I'm getting there. So, that, okay, now you have to play the, two, the point guard. You have to be our only point guard um, for all of the preseason because we don't have our point guard. He, he got hurt. Like I said, um, and I was just honestly, I wasn't prepared for that. Um, I had been a, a scorer only all of my life. Um, and I just wasn't prepared to, I, I pride myself on being an underrated passer. So it is a flaw of myself, but I, I've never, at that time, I wasn't able to control a team, to run a team, especially at that level. I'd never played at that level. Um, and I struggled. I struggled being a point guard. I wasn't myself. Um, I wasn't aggressive like I normally am. So I didn't look like, um, the Carvel they wanted, even though, being honest, they weren't, a, you know, giving me a chance to be the Carvel that they asked for. So they wanted to bring in another guy, um, which is understandable. Um, but over there, we had, I don't remember the number, but say you can have four Americans. No, you got five Americans. We already had five. You bring in a sixth one. Now someone has to rotate. Now they're asking me to rotate games, play a game here, play, miss a game here, play a game. And I'm 24 at the time, maybe. I just went crazy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hot right now. I can't play one game off, one game on. Even if I play terrible, I need to be out there. You know what I mean? I can't sit and just back and forth with that. And we just finally had a, a, a mutual agreement to part ways. Um, we did that. It was very amicable. Nothing, uh, no bad blood about it. It just was kind of disappointing because the situation wasn't what we agreed upon. And it was a situation that I really felt like I could have flourished. Um, there were some really good people there. Um, but I went to uh, Bremerhaven in Germany, who was actually recruiting me in the summer. And I um, said no to to go to Israel. So thank God that uh, that coach didn't hold grudges. Hello and thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, You can also click subscribe over here so you're notified when we have new content here on Expat Hoops.